Corey, I very desperately want to talk Devour with you. Do you want to go ahead and lead that? Sure. Um, so, uh, a few last week, Monday, right? Monday, last week, Monday. Um, me and uh, King Ish, as I call him on stream, um, and our friend Inky Blue, as well as Jose here, all played a few rounds of Devour. Which, if those of you that don't know, is a brand new horror game that came out, um, and it is a uh, an early horror game that still excuse me still has uh a lot of updates on the horizon and um and so it literally came out i think like the first week of february so it's really like less than a month old and we were it's also only five dollars it's also only five dollars so if anyone wants to play with me uh it's really fun and really spooky and really uh really something else um it, I, I feel like it has the potential to be a, a really fun um, horror game that lasts for a while uh, because it's so different. It's a competitive it's in a similar sense. It's like phasmophobia where it's very it's very uh, cooperative. It's not competitive in any way. Um, and it literally has like an ongoing story. Uh, whereas phasmophobia is sort of like, okay, like you're ghost hunters, you're going to detect a ghost for in like a random house, blah, blah, blah. Once you do, you get out, you go. Whereas, also, whereas I, I devour also, has sorry, a, uh, Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, whereas devour with each stage that they reveal, which currently they only still have the first stage. Um, it has an ongoing story that continues after like, the, the first place you go to. So like the first place you go to is a house where you're a cult follower who is going to check in on the cult leader as to why a devil summoning ritual went wrong. And. Okay. Can I just pop in really fast? If uh -huh. you're a member of a cult and someone goes, Hey man, we need you to check up as on this devil summoning ritual to see if it <laughs> fucked up. I'm going to look this man straight in the eyes and go, now nah, fuck you, buddy. You know what? You know, we, had this, <laughs> we, we had this conversation. Uh, I think it was Inky Blue said, Corey, wouldn't you want to do this? It'd be something memorable to do. Like, no, why would I put myself in that situation? Be like, uh, you would have an interesting story if exactly. you survived. If you die, whatever. It's cool. So, like, I get you're in a cult and that's your thing. I, um, as, as my favorite murder says, get the fuck out of the cult and call your dad. Like, no, leave the cult. Like, no, if someone looks you in the eyes and go, listen, the demon summoning, you know, it might have fucked up. We need someone to go check out it. No. <laughs> but, no, uh, cool. no, that. Okay, I'm done. Go ahead. Corey so, made the uh, comparison to, uh, Phasmophobia. And so I, I played both with Corey. Um, uh, phasmophobia has a lot of unwritten rules you kind of have to read outside of the game in order to kind of learn how everything works um devour is is a much simpler premise it's very easy to get your head around it so the way it works is there is this creepy ghost lady in the house and Corey's very she's mean not a ghost. For she's demon possessed demon possessed i stand corrected mm -hmm. um but she's wandering around the house, and Corey, you're very mean for making me want to go through the door first. <laughs> uh, Corey's like, hey, why don't you just walk through the for door? For anyone like, that wants I to see that clip, it's on my Twitch. I clipped it. <laughs> go through the door. I was like, no. I, I, Corey, what are you doing? No. <laughs> well, because you were experiencing for the first time, and this, you need to yeah. experience it all yourself without me spoiling it. But, so uh, I wanted to shove you through the door. <laughs> but the, the premise is there's this uh, possessed lady in the house and you have to sacrifice goats that you find throughout the house at an altar. But each time you do, it really, oh. really pisses this lady off. And so she's question. chasing around, knocking people down. <laughs> you have to heal question. your teammates. Is there just and goats in this house? Like, are they're, they're, little, this house? they're little baby goats, too. <laughs> Why is there just goats walking? Oh, I'm done. I'm just going to mute myself again. I can't and fucking you, do this anymore. Continue. And they, you light them on fire and it's real, it's real fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. You got to sacrifice 10 little baby goats with red eyes into in an altar. And once you do that, then, you know, you beat her. The game ends. And that's the end of that stage. It's very um, hard to win. <laughs> there's also, as a collectible, there are 25 roses to collect in the game. Um, 
somewhere all around the the premises and inside of the house. Um, very well hidden, by the way. Uh, there are some ridiculous places that I found roses. And um, it unlocks, I'm not going to say what it unlocks, but it unlocks a very special uh, item for your character. Um, and it's it's very fun. It's very fun. Um, but yeah, basically you have to lure the goats with with little things of hay and they got to, you know, walk on over to them and then you can pick them up by the neck and shake them like a dog. Um, and, uh, and then uh, if you, get- you guys play, <laughs> it's fun. And then, and then um, if you do get caught by the by the demon possessed lady, she will scream in your face and then carry you to some part of the house where you are then crawling on the ground waiting for a team member to revive you with a med kit that's lying around the premises um yeah I, so I that's I, why so that's the first level why? the second level just got re- the second level didn't get released but they showed pictures of it and it's going to be um an asylum with a morgue oh no yeah is so there the, gonna be goats in the asylum too we don't we don't know we we don't know because the story is continuing from the original level um the- where <laughs> where they said that the the asylum level is going to be involving um because the 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 girl that actually goes the story is that molly the follower the cult follower molly goes to check on the um the cult leader and she actually after she survives the events of what happened at the house she actually ends up in an insane asylum and something obviously goes wrong at the asylum and so you it's you're going there to investigate I, I would highly recommend this game to anyone that can stomach horror. It is a hell of a time with three other people. Um, I was shaking. We got, we got strategic. So like, shake. There's times <laughs> where she, like, once you get like nine baby goats murdered, she's oh, she just like, insane. she's sprinting across the she house. She's got like, horns on her head. She's like, I'm, I'm just running around shutting doors on ish by accident. It's like, sorry, buddy, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a good time. Dude, th- so, so me, me and, ish and my my um or rather inky blue me and ish and inky blue all we beat it last night finally and uh i was the one to put the last goat in the altar and uh inky blue got grabbed by the girl as i ran past her and like it was it was all it was very it was very uh scary very scary stuff anyways um (laughs) we can move on (laughs) 